The season has begun and we've already seen established stars like Haaland and Salah scoring goals. Alongside them, there are also emerging talents who could be crucial in the title deciders. Let's take a look at 10 players who could become superstars this season, starting with Cole Palmer. When Kevin De Bruyne was unavailable, it was the 21-year-old Palmer who took on the responsibility against Sevilla. This young man is truly remarkable. It's crucial for him to maintain his current momentum, stay grounded, which he seems to handle adeptly and continue finding the back of the net. He's already scored in the Community Shield and the Super Cup. If he continues progressing, City should be in good shape. Grealish commented on this, stating that as a young individual, one must embrace such opportunities. Grealish himself was in a similar situation during his time at Aston Villa years ago, where he strived to excel whenever given the chance. Palmer has certainly achieved that, and it's important for him to sustain this level of performance. Keep an eye out for another player, Eddie Nketiah. While Gabby Jesus has traditionally held the second striker position at Arsenal, Nketiah has now taken the lead role right from the first match of the season. He even managed to score against Nottingham Forest. His key to success lies in maintaining a steady performance, whether it's by scoring goals or creating opportunities for his teammates. When discussing exceptional talents, Wataru Endo emerges as another noteworthy figure who holds the potential to significantly impact Liverpool's performance. A notable instance occurred when Liverpool found themselves reduced to 10 players due to McAllister's red card against Bournemouth. Demonstrating his strategic brilliance, Klopp made a wise decision by replacing Endo with Gakpo to restore stability. Endo's versatility as both a central midfielder and a centre-back provided a distinct advantage. Advantage. This strategic manoeuvre resulted in a 10-man Liverpool successfully clinching the match. Elsewhere, Axel Dizazi, the new player in Chelsea's defence, has shown how good he is by scoring a goal in the first game against Liverpool, showing he could become a big star in the future. Last season, while playing for Monaco, Dizazi managed to help his team by scoring three goals and making three assists in the French league. It seems like he's going to be an important player for Chelsea this season, making it hard for other teams to score. And with Maurizio Pochettino as the coach, he's likely to stay an important part of the team for many years. But everyone should pay close attention to this incredibly skilled striker in the league. Tayo Awani was crucial in preventing Nottingham Forest from dropping to a lower division last season, scoring 10 goals and assisting once. This season might be the time for him to take charge, guiding the tricky tees to rise up the ranks and surprise the top six teams as an unexpected contender. In the two games played so far, the Nigerian player has scored two goals, so it's evident that he deserves recognition and cannot be ignored in the English Premier League any longer. Likewise, keep an eye on Eberichi Eze. He's a player for Crystal Palace who's on the way to becoming the team's new standout player. With Zaha's departure, all burden is on the shoulders of Eze, who will have a bigger role to play in the club. Last season, Eze scored 10 goals and helped with four assists. This season, he's likely to score even more goals. La Liga, too, has some players who could be superstars this season. For instance, Fran Garcia showed real skill in his debut against Athletic Bilbao last week. It seems he's going to play a big role for Real Madrid this season. Even though Eduard Camavinga has potential, he didn't seem comfortable playing as a left back. If Fran Garcia can keep up his good performances this season, he might become the next standout player in Real Madrid's defence. Turning our attention to Madrid's main rivals, some promising elements are present in their lineup. One one to watch is Eze Abdi. This season, he could finally get his chance to shine for Barcelona after spending the previous year on loan with Osasuna. His contributions were pivotal as Osasuna secured a 7th place finish in the standings and even reached the Copa del Rey final, though they lost to Real Madrid. Abde showcased his abilities by scoring 6 goals and assisting 2 others last season. While he might initially be part of a rotation, his impressive performance in the opening match against Getafe suggests Jesse could earn more opportunities in the upcoming games. In a similar vein, we have another player from Barcelona, La Minha Mar. Despite being just 16 years old, he attracted attention when he was added to Xavi's squad towards the end of the previous season. Throughout the pre-season, he managed to leave a positive impression on the head of the Catalan Giants. Given Usman Dembele's departure and the irregular performances of Rafinha, who tends to waste opportunities, Yamal might seize the opportunity to rise and capture attention later this season. Finally, let's talk about Lee Kang-in, who could become the new face of South Korean 
football as Son Heung Min's influence lessens. He just joined PSG this summer, aiming to win big trophies and become an important player in Paris. His best season was the last one, where he scored six goals and helped with seven assists. In the first game of the season, Kang In played well and even had chances to score. Surely a lot to promise. To sum up, the football scene is changing, with new stars like Fran Garcia, Eze Abde and Lamin Yamal coming forward. Lee Kang In and Axel Dizazi are also taking on bigger roles. As the season goes on, their play could bring surprises and make things interesting. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!